Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Before we get started today, I want to say two things. First of all, make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate the subscribes and keep the comments coming. I love that. We've had some new comments in the last couple weeks. Keep those going. And if there's something you'd like to see, let me know. It gives me a lot of great ideas. This is a customer report with the customer and data table on the left, associated bars on the right. And it's a fairly long list, so as you scroll down, you'll notice that the bars on the right aren't scrolling. So that's a problem. We want to get these two synced up. So what we'd like to do, what I wanted to do, is add some a scroll bar. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate both of these, both the table and the, and the uh, bars. We're going to move those to the end, maybe. And what we're going to do first is we're going to create a field called customer index. It's just a simple index field. We're going to add that. And so you can see it goes one, two, three, all the way down. But just to make sure, I like to come in here, compute using table down. Make sure it's going table down. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a parameter. I'm going to show you what this one, this parameter looks like. We're just calling it customer scroll bar. It's going to be an integer. You don't want to get decimals because we're going to be looking at the different rows. So forget the integers. Current value is seven. That's from when I was testing it out. We'll just send it to one. I usually make sure that it's custom zero just so we don't get any 1.00 showing up. Minimum of one, we want it to show at least the first record and then the maximum. If you come down here, looking at all the customers, it says nine, uh, 793. So I just rounded up to 800. If you have only 30 customers or you only have you know, 300 suppliers or 1,500 clients or whatever, make that number so it covers all your, your clients. Otherwise, you'll end up scrolling and you won't be able to get down to the bottom. Hit OK. And then we're going to show. The parameter. There's your parameter off to the right. Now the next thing we need to do is create a field called show customers. It's a little bit long, but we're going to say we want this customer index to be at least the same level or same number as the customer scroll bar, which is over here, this one. So we want to show at least row number one. And then here's where you come to the limiter, and we want this, it to be less than or equal to the scroll bar plus 29. So what this is doing is this is limiting the number of customers that we're going to see on any screen at one time to 30, the 1 plus the 29. Now you'll notice that there's no if-then statements here, so this is a Boolean uh, function, so it's only going to give you true or false, which works really great if you're going to just filter on it. So bring filter up here. We want to just show the true. And so there's 1 through 30. And of course, we'll just test it out. 1 through 40, 49 through, you know, there's 30 records. Okay, so that's working like we thought it should. Now we don't want to see this here, so I'm going to move this up to details just so we don't lose the visibility. And then I'd like to test it out again. Yeah, it's still moving. All right, so that's the tables. Now we're going to come to the bars. We've already got the customer index, so we're going to bring that to and drop that under detail. Once again, I just like to, you don't have to do this, table down, make sure that's working. We're going to bring the show customer up here under true. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just duplicate this. You don't have to duplicate it. You could create a brand new dashboard. Now you need the dashboard so you can get the side-by-side -side look. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the customer tables. I'm going to just drop that into the same place, 
we got customer tables, customer table two. So we can just delete that. This works good for me because then I don't have to go back through and add a bunch of stuff. When you notice as we added the customer bars to, or customer table to, this customer scroll bar popped up it's because that's one of the filters or parameters that was showing on the tab. We'll drop this here. We'll get rid of the old one. There you go. Fill around with the formatting a little bit, and then you've got two synchronized scrolling, and you don't have the scroll bars, which is what you wanted to get away from. And then you know you could change, move this to floating, and move this elsewhere. Play with the formatting. You can also hide so you don't see the uh, counter. Customize, show readout, and then you just have the one bar. Remember, hit subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks.